Hello students, so you are on step five, which is here. You're writing a five paragraph research essay on the advantages, what are the strengths of using fossil fuels, and the disadvantages, what are the weaknesses, what are the problems with using fossil fuels. And then form an opinion on what should be done. I broke it down by paragraph. Remember, I'm not going to give you an exact number, but two sentences are not a paragraph. It needs to be about four to five, that's, a, that's kind of a typical number. More is fine. Uh, but less than four is kind of not a complete paragraph. Uh, so an introduction with a strong topic sentence. An introduction kind of tells you what the whole essay is going to be about. Basically, you can pretty much take all your topic sentences and just change them a little bit, tweak them, and then you can kind of integrate it into this first paragraph. You want to have a strong first mm -hmm. sentence. Remember, you can use a question as a hook to engage the reader, but don't overuse it. Every paragraph should not have a question. Um, paragraph two. Advantages of using fossil fuels. What are some of the good things of using fossil fuels? You can, of course, do a Google search and find out. Just type in advantages of using fossil fuels. Here's the catch, though. Let's say, let's say you go online like this uh, Google search here. You type in advantages of using fossil fuels. You click on the first thing. And you start reading. And then you go here. You're like, oh, advantages. The majority of advantage of fossil fuel is there capacity to generate huge amounts of electricity. Oh great, I like that. Doing this, copy, and then putting it into your essay, that is not allowed. Really, that is just pretty much stealing. It's like copying a neighbor's test answers or questions. So if that's not allowed, what are you supposed to do? I'll walk through how you actually use some of the information you find appropriately without stealing um, at the end of this video. Now, back to the requirements of the essay. Paragraph 3 should be disadvantages. What are, of course, some problems of using fossil fuels? Your notebook is pretty good about giving you some of the problems, and that's one that we read about today as well. Uh, and then paragraph 4 is your opinion, so really you can't get it wrong unless you don't support your opinion. Find out um, what is um, your opinion. What should we do? Should we stop using fossil fuels? Should we move to a different type of fuel? Um, and if so, which one? Do we just continue to our out? Should we save what we have? There's plenty you can talk about here in the opinion paragraph. And then the f last paragraph, the conclusion, is pretty much telling me what you learned by doing the essay. And then restate your opinion at the end, probably in the last sentence or the second to last sentence. These requirements, of course, if you forget, you can write them down in your notebook so you know what to do. You can actually um, keep it visible like this and then open up your drive and then go to create because your essay is going to be digital and where it says untitled you want to name your document name this and remember this video is going too fast rewind it or do it side by side with the video and of course another window open your title should be research essay fossil fuels and then push ok and then um, remember, <clears throat> when you're doing an essay, you should have your information in case it gets printed out. So you always want to um, put your name, period, date. These little lines here control uh, where do you write things. So you want to click on this one, write a line. And then you write your last name, first name, period. And then the date that you started it. So for this video I'm making, it's February the 10th. And then we push two, four, um, four times the enter key, and then you can go on this one. This one center lines it. That means it puts it right in the middle of the paper. So put your title again. So it's research essay, fossil fuels. Then push enter about four times, and then you can click on this one. <clears throat> and then you are on the left side. You don't have to do five finger spaces. You just push tab, and then the computer does it for you and you can start typing. So then start off with a topic sentence. What do you think of this topic sentence? I typed in fossil fuels are great. Strong topic sentence? Weak? It's a pretty weak topic sentence. It does tell you the opinion of the writer but it's very brief. How about this one? Why are we relying on a source of energy that is so limited? It kind of engages the reader and like well why are we doing this? And then get starts to get in thinking. Go ahead and think of your own topic sentence. You are not to borrow this one. If I see you use this one this time, you will lose points. 
um, you really need a, um, a sentence to start you off so you don't just sit there worrying about how to start it. You may borrow this, what's called a stem, to start the whole paragraph off. Um, this is like a medium one, it's not the best, but it is kind of open enough that you can kind of add your own thoughts here. It's up to you. Last thing before this video gets way too long, how to actually get some of the research you did and put it into your essay. Let's say you're on your third paragraph, let's say this is or the second paragraph, you're indented, this is, um, let's say the best or the biggest advantage of using fossil fuels are, and then so what some of you do is you take what you find, you copy it, and then you just paste it, and that is not okay, so let's say you paste it there, nope, that's not what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is go back to what you've typed, and let's read what it said. Major advantage of fossil fuel is to generate huge amounts of electricity. Okay, you can put it in your own words. Get rid of this thing here. Fuels is the amount, or or is their ability to help us generate electricity? See how I didn't uh, borrow it. Uh, I borrowed the main idea from it, of course, but um, I've told you this in the notes too. But it wasn't word for word. Another thing you can do, of course is just cite. And you can't do this very often. Like you could do it maybe once a paragraph. But for example, we can say <clears throat> that according to, and then look for the website to see what you're using. Um, this is called Alternative Energy Secrets. You can go back here. According to Alternative, alternative Energy Secret dot com, Instead of quotation marks, it would be best if you highlight it so if when I'm reading it, I can click it and check it out to see if you can copy word for word, and then you can do what's called underlining it. According to alternativeenergysecret.com, and then use, um, get rid of the underline, use, you can write exactly what they said. Every single word that they said is okay. Just finish it off with using another quotation mark. Remember, you can't do that for every paragraph. You can do it maybe once a paragraph, and once you do it, after you write down exactly what they did, you gave them credit, you're not stealing, you're telling me where you got it from. Also tell me what you think about what you read. Because it's not just about copying to have enough sentences, it's about to about uh, explaining what you're reading and learning from where you your sources are. Alright, go ahead and get started, I know that's a lot to do. The, the essay, you need to have at least two paragraphs so we can peer edit on our iPads by Monday or Tuesday. So you have the weekend to write two paragraphs minimum. If not, you know, you get an MP and maybe other consequences. Have a good day.